Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. In this video, we will speak about what the Muslims always they come to us with. Your Bible is corrupt. And what the Christians do when they hear a Muslim saying such a statement, Christians, they get in alarm and say, no, this is not a true. And you know, uh, honestly, uh, Christians, you should not do that. Because simply when a Muslim, he speak to you, when he say that the Bible is corrupt, do you know he's talking about what? Why you Christians always take an assumption that he is talking about your Bible? He is not. He is talking about the Bible which sent by Allah to a guy, his name is Isa. So he's not talking about your book. So if a Muslim, he says to you, the Bible of the Christians is corrupt, you should know that he's talking about the Christians, which is in his book, which is following a guy, his name is Isa. We have no idea who is this guy. And the book which is corrupt is the book which is given from Allah to Isa. Now, honestly, is that my problem? Just to make it simple, I don't want to make it complicated. Abdul, listen to me. You are saying to us that you're Allah. He sent a book. And then a bunch of Christians, they screwed your God and changed his book. Now, this is the problem of who? This is your problem. Because if your God is God, how the Christian, they change the book. How they can win against your God. I cannot even change a, a copy of Microsoft uh, a CD. They have a copyright. Your God could not even keep one copy. What kind of God he lose? And the funny, the Muslims, they say to us, their God, he sent 124,000 prophet. All of them, their books is gone. Except one prophet. His name is Muhammad. He was the victorious. Abdul, what's wrong with you, man? Your God is a big loser. Your Quran say clearly the following. In chapter, as an example, I'm just I'm not going to quote all the verses. There's a limited number of stupid verses in the Quran. Chapter three, verse number fifty. If you speak Arabic, you can read in Arabic. If you don't, you know, just to choose any translation, which all of them is false anyway, because Muslims they will never give you a correct translation in order to protect their religion from being exposed. However, I'm going to use the fast translation just for to make it more legitimate for the Muslims at least. How, how Muhammad he say he is he is approving the Quran saying that Jesus is speaking in the in the in, in the in the uh, in the Quran and he is approving what is between ha his hands of the Torah. In the same time, we will find different story. This is mean, by the way, you can open the translation. You go to any, Yusuf Ali, let's go to Israel, just wait. So people will not say, what are you talking about? We have no idea, we don't understand. All right. I have come to you to attest the law which was before me and make lawful for you whatever. So according to this, according to this, uh, uh, Jesus, he is telling the, uh, the, the, the Jews that he received a book, it's called the Gospel. Thank you, Allah. So this is the Gospel of Allah now. It's the one later will be gone. Remember, Muslims, when you talk about the Gospel is corrupt, you are talking about the Gospel of your God, Allah, the God of all the Abduls, not our God. So Christian should not defend this story here because simply this is the Gospel of Allah. And if Allah is cannot, he cannot, he cannot uh, protect his words, this is his problem, not my problem. Actually, this is enough proof that Allah cannot be God. You see, uh, the Quran itself says, Nobody can change the words of Allah. Nobody can change the word of Allah. The Quran says that. And then you want to tell me that Allah, his word change? The Muslim, they will say to you, that verse means the Quran. Why mean the Quran? It doesn't say the Quran. It says nobody can change the words of Allah. Let me show you the verse. 
There are three verses speaking specifically at, that no one can change the words of Allah. And it doesn't say anything about the Quran. Alright? Wala mubaddira li kalimati Allah. Chapter 6, verse number 34. Chapter 6, verse 115. And the chapter uh, 18, verse number 27. And by the way, what kind of God is God? He keep repeating the same verse over and over and over. You know? Anyway, welcome to the Quran. Uh, and none can change his words. Do you see it? This is your Muslim translation. None can change his words. His words. It doesn't say the Quran. However, let us say for the sake of argument, this is about the Quran. Well, this is very stupid too. Because why Allah decided to, to protect the Quran? Why he don't say the sentences about the, 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 the gospel, the Torah? It does, does it hurt him? Why he allowed those books to be corrupt? If it's just an easy word, he can just say, you know, no one can change the word of Allah and that's it. Nobody can change it. So just to make it simple, if Allah is saying no one can change his words and you are saying to me, we can and you did already change his words, it's mean your God is a potato God. He's not God. Secondly, you are not accusing me with my book when you say that because according to the Quran, the gospel is sent by Allah. If you're Muslim, you will say to me, no, it's not sent by Allah, it's sent by the God of the Christians. Okay, thank you very much. This is mean you just admitted that Allah is not God. And the one who sent the true gospel is my God, not Allah. So if you accept that this is your God who sent the gospel, and then you accept that, uh, as an example, the, 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 this verse in here, Jesus saying that, he is saying to them, I assure you, I accept what I have between my hands. And he was speaking about what? Speaking about the Torah. But if we go to a different verse, we will see the following. In chapter 4, verse number 46, and this one is speaking about the Jews, it says the following. Read with me. Of the Jews, there were, or there, there are, those who displace words from their right places, Okay, let us take this, that this has really happened. And the Jews, they displaced the words from their right places. Now, if you read the story, uh, uh, you will see that this doesn't match. Why? Because you just gave me a verse about Jesus saying that he agree and he approve. The gospel, which is, I mean, the Torah, which is between his hand. You know, here we go. In the front of your eyes in verse number 50 if you don't like the translation of uh, Yusuf Ali we can change it no problem which one switch sweet you sweet you uh, 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 brother Abdul which one let us go to big tal big tal what do you want to say big tal okay let's see what book tal saying here we go and I came confirming that which was before me of the Torah Okay, how he can confirm it if the Jews did destroy it and, and, and they corrupt it? Like, come on! What's wrong with this book? This verse here is speaking about the Jews in the time of Moses. This is in the time of Moses, by the way. This verse here in the time of Moses, you can go to the book of Ibn Kathir and you will see the following. Here we go. Ibn Kathir. There was 70 men in the time of Moses when they are, remember the 70 men who they are displacing the words from their, their, their uh, you know. We go to different verse if you want. Chapter 2 verse number 75. If we go to this verse, chapter 2 verse number 75. The same drama. There is 70, 70 men in the time of Moses who they changed to listen to Moses and then they alter the word. Now, do they alter them by the meaning? Or they alter them by 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 the by word by word mean writing. If you want to say he altered them by the meaning, then you have a problem in the by, by by the meaning because that doesn't make sense. Because simply Moses is there, the prophet himself, and all of us we know that the Jews they they obey Moses. Why they will alter? He is their leader. If they accept him as a prophet, they accept him as a prophet. And until now, the Jews, they follow the law of Moses. 
What alter? Like what? Like what? Name for me one thing that Joe is alter. Can you? Like what? What's wrong with you, Abdul? Like I understand you will say the Christians, uh, 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 they, uh, uh, according to you, they come with the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. What do you would do with the Jews? You will say they alter what? What they did exactly? Or you don't want to say to me the Quran says they worship Uzair? I challenge you to find me Uzair in, in, in the Torah. It is nothing but a fabrication. So simply, the Quran is nothing but a shish kebab, fatouche, uh, 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 falafel book, mixed up together. Muhammad, he could not find his name in those books. Those, those people, they rejected him. And then he come to us saying, oh, your book is, uh, uh, I don't accept your book. However, we can show tons of proofs. Even Muhammad, he take an oath, put in his hand over the Torah. He swear by the Torah. How, how you can swear by a book? It's corrupt, you idiot. Now, let us continue. What about the gospel? Did Muhammad say, I confirm the gospel, which is between my hands? Yes, he said. Let us see. In chapter 4, verse number 47, Muhammad he is saying he confirmed two books, not only one book. Two books. The book of the Jews, which means which mean the Torah and the gospel of Jesus. You can read any interpretation or translation you want. You see how nice I am? I'm just showing the Abduls one by one. All who you believe, give in the book, believe in, in that which we, we have revealed, verifying what you have before we alter faces, then turn them back. What? What is that? Anyone understand? Verifying what you have? How you can verify? What you have, what they have, if you if, if it's corrupt, it's obviously what you are saying here. It's not it's not corrupt. Because you are verifying. Maybe this translation is bad, man. I don't like this translation. Let us go to the front translation. Let us see Yusuf Ali. How are you doing, Yusuf Ali? He is the best Abdul Yusuf Ali. Okay. Oh ye people of the book, believe in what we have now revealed, confirming what was already with you. Before we change the face and the name of some of you, he is, you know, he is threatening them. If you don't believe in me, I'm going to make the big pigs and monkeys. However, you know, obviously, he did not make any of them pigs and monkeys. It was a false threat, right? He's reminding them as what they said in the in the in the Quran about Allah. He made the pigs and and, and the Jews pigs and, and monkeys. However, how you can confirm? In what is between their hands and looking here he says what was already what was already how it can be was and already what was already I thought my English is bad I feel better now anyway let us go to big tal big tal may be better hmm? okay believe in what we revealed confirming that which was you possess now, come on so in the time of Muhammad the Bible never been corrupt and nowhere in the Quran it says it was corrupt. So what's wrong with those Abduls? However, still we want to find the true Bible then if it is corrupt. And if you Muslim could not provide even one verse from the true Bible, that is your problem. How you want to prove to someone that his book is corrupt if you don't have the original one? However, that is against the Quran because the Quran says no one can change the words of Allah. That is a crazy religion. However, I advise Christians, if a Muslim says to you, the Bible is corrupt, say to him, we agree, the Bible of Allah corrupt, not our Bible. Thank you very much because a Muslim is speaking about the Bible of Allah, not our Bible. That is the problem of Allah because he is a loser. He sent books for no, with no success. All the prophets he sent before Muhammad, their books is gone. Your prophet, he is the only one his book is stay the same. However, I can find you where it says that almost 200 verses from the chapter of Al-Ahzab is missing. It used to be equal to the chapter of Al-Baqarah. And there is many, many, many proofs. And the Quran today is the book of Uthman, not the book of Muhammad. Follow with me with more videos. God bless you and thank you.